this bag is always ready it's always packed and waiting for me to just grab it and go hi welcome to my channel if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and if you have subscribed thank you <laughs> okay so today i'm going to talk about what's in my what's in my diaper bag okay guys so um, as you can see um actually this is my diaper bag but this is like my main go-to diaper bag my everyday go-to diaper bag and this came with my stroller um but i do have another bag which is it's more or less like a handbag but like a really big one that you can use as a handbag and as a diaper bag but this is my go-to bag when i'm going for a stroll with a baby just around the neighborhood or I have an emergency like he suddenly isn't feeling well and I have to go to the hospital so this is the bag I just grab and go I always make sure that my diaper bag is ready should anything happen I just grab my bag and go and I don't have to worry if I forgot anything the only thing I have to add on here if it's a medical emergency is actually his medical book and that's it um, but on a normal day walk I basically have everything. I really find pre-parking essential. So this is a spring edition um, and I'm gonna show you what's in my bag. So come with me and let's do this. Okay, uh, so my bag, when you open it like this, it actually has a zip here. So in this zip, um, I always have this with me. I use this to like hydrate his nose, I would say. So this is more like a hydrator, but I just like having, um, I have it in my bag anyways. Um, and then I have this. This is basically ha a nose aspirator. I always have this with me because my kid easily gets running nose. So even if it's sunny and we go out and it's slightly windy, after a few seconds you just see that he develops running nose. Um, so I always have this with me just to clear him up if I need to. Okay, and then now we get inside the bag. So this is a fast look into my diaper bag, um, as you can see. And we have here some diapers, some wipes, changing mat and then on the side pocket as well okay you know what let's get into this so number one the obvious the obvious stuff so i have diapers with me here and you always want to check that your diapers are in the right size if you don't walk too much but if you're like me and you walk every other week or every day then you don't have to worry so i usually have like about five diapers because my baby is small and sometimes when you're going for a walk you don't well i don't necessarily say i'm going to go for one hour or for two hours i just go for a walk sometimes i find it interesting stuff that keeps me out for longer sometimes i don't so it just basically depends so i don't want to limit myself because i took one diaper or two diapers and be like oh my god i have to rush because my diapers are going to be over i have my wipes um i use huggies and the reason why I use Huggies wipes is because they feel more like a towel, you know, like a thin towel and they really absorb stuff nicely. I don't know, it's really, it's really nice. So I prefer Huggies. Yeah, so here I have a changing mat. Now, my changing mat is, I love this changing mat. I love it a lot. Um, so it has paper on one side and then on the other side it's cotton but this is really really nice um you just wipe it and everything is perfect you don't have to worry and you don't have to worry about anything fading this is just really nice um next well next i have this i don't know what you call this it's more like a receiving blanket but not exactly it's more like um 
a flannel it's, is this flannel i think so no actually it's cotton so this is like a hundred percent cotton and it's just a small sized cloth um well i usually carry two or three of these but mostly i make sure i have at least two in my bag um and what i use this for it's for instance if i go to a public um bathroom to change my baby so i put this under the mat you don't have to because for instance mine has cotton actually at the bottom but i just think it's hygienic but you don't have to um the other thing i use this for is let's say it's windy and my baby is sleeping um or it's not even windy he's just sleeping and i feel like um i have to like you know give him you know like that night feel so i usually just put this like at the front of the stroller and, and cover it so he's like inside the stroller and this just blocks the sun or whatever from going inside but mostly it's when he's sleeping when he's awake he likes looking outside so i don't necessarily need this the other reason why i have this is because um i sometimes breastfeed mostly i carry bottles with me but sometimes like the breasts are too full and you're like okay um i need to breastfeed else i'm gonna go wet so in such instances i also use this to cover myself as i breastfeed okay um and then um i have this it's just a napkin um and this is just basically for wiping him if if something just happens and i need to like wipe him or whatever um i use this besides the wipes of course um and then i have a bib usually um i have two or three bibs so this bib is inside my bag and i have another bib like on the side pockets so basically now i'm showing you only the things that are inside like in the main section of my diaper bag so i have this bib um and then i have a change of clothes oops so um i'm gonna show you so usually um i have a body so this is a body right there um sometimes i have two some mostly one especially now because it's warm um i don't think i need that many um and then i have this um cute um i don't know what to call it yeah so i have this because it's warm so i, I do have this and i have a t-shirt so they came complete um so these are complete so it's the t-shirt with this um and i have stockings just in case um i dress him in these shorts and then it's cold so i will just you know with spring sometimes you see it's sunny and you're like yeah it's sunny i'm gonna go for a walk and then once you're outside it gets a bit cold um or rainy or whatever so i always have stockings with me just in case it gets cold um okay and then the next thing i have are these pairs of trousers for the same reason um if it gets cold or whatever so i have this a pair of trousers okay um and then i have this nivea um cream this is more like a weather cream so whether um it's windy it's cold or whatever like whatever kind of temperature but it's not it's not sunscreen it's not sunscreen yeah so i always have this cream with me um my baby is behind me he's sleeping but i hope i won't wake him up and then i have this cream it's called pseudo cream and this is um basically nappy it's a it's a diaper cream nappy cream diaper cream um and then i also have some some of this some earbuds just in case so i usually have like four or five of these and um and basically that's it but i don't know if you can see but inside my bag i have like this um small pockets in here so these small pockets are the ones that i use for the cream earbuds and all that those small small things okay now we go to the side pockets so this um so on this side i always have this 500 ml um thermos 
and the reason why I have this is because like I said I love having bottles with me because like they are faster and easier to use and I don't have to stop somewhere and feed him like I just keep going and he's feeding um he's five months old he doesn't know yet how to hold a bottle but I usually I have a like a very small pillow in my stroller and I use the pillow to like I put it here and I support the bottle and he's able to feed while he, while the stroller is still moving and I don't have to stop to feed him or whatever so I always like having this with me um and I put warm water in here and I can give him milk or some warm water just depending and if he finishes his milk usually I prepare milk here at home so if he drinks and finishes that I always have water in here to make the next meal so this is on one of my side pockets actually this is basically for bottles so I have my thermos and then on the other side um, I have I have a sippy cup um, this I usually have this empty sometimes I put some water but sometimes when you're walking you find that oh it's maybe too hot and you have warm water and probably he needs some cold water so I, I have this just in case he doesn't need warm water so I definitely put here cold water or some juice or just whatever I might find you know or need along the way if in case I buy some drink or something along the way he always has a bottle um, and then I, I have this um, this is really nice it's like it's like a mason jar but it's not exactly a jar and um, I put here food or baby formula and this is always in here and in case he finishes his milk I have that ready to prepare um, the next bottle for him um, then I have this thermos that I always hung hung here and inside here I always make sure that the milk I have is ready so this is 120 ml and it's ready so we because we are going for a walk immediately I'm done with this video so we'll go for a walk and in case he wakes up because he's asleep in case he wakes up and he needs something um, to drink my baby is not patient so he's not the kind of baby to wait for you to prepare milk it has to be ready so the moment he just wakes up and starts crying I will give him this um, and usually he drinks the whole 120 in one go like he just drinks everything so once he's done I'll probably prepare him the next milk or wait for him to cry because I know like after how long he drinks so I basically wait and I'm checking the time and when I see it's almost time for his next feeding I prepare the next bottle so always I have my milk ready so that because he is he is not patient he's not gonna wait for you to prepare and sometimes when you're walking you like have basically nowhere to start putting the thermos and and everything you know like it's so messy and I don't have time as well to go looking for places where I can go in and try to make my baby milk so I prefer making it here at home and having it ready to save myself time and to avoid him you know getting all angry and teary okay so now it's my this this pocket here right here um, so I'm going to show you the things we have in this pocket um, so so I have this um, small tin um, actually this came with my nursing pads so don't judge me but I just found it useful that's why so I use it for this baby stuff so I have um, teethers here um, basically I have three teethers that's in case one drops because now he's reached um he's at a certain age where he like just basically drops stuff and then you pick give him back and then he just drops it so in such a situation i don't want to miss on them because this really come handy um also because he is teething so they're really important um this is more like a pacifier i really like it a lot because this you can actually like just tag it on whatever on his bib or clothes or whatever so it's really easy easy to ensure that it doesn't drop but sometimes he likes holding things so this doesn't help so in such a situation I have these two um, and then in the same I have a pacifier and don't ask me where the cover is because 
I have no idea. <laughs> that's why I need this this small tin. Yeah, so basically that's all that I have in this um, tin right here. Okay. Then um, I have a pair of socks. Um, I have a hat. I have some mittens. I have another bib but these like stay on this side pocket because it's much easier to like just open and, and grab whatever I need a bib or uh, I need some mittens um, I need this and yeah it's very easy to like grab them than if they were actually inside the main bag so in the side pocket yeah I have this um, and then I also have this it's just um, this is it's just uh, just something to wipe him with in case he you have some sort of accident or whatever you can use this so um i always have a spoon with me <laughs> because my kid just started eating recently and sometimes when you go outside he's like really fussy um so i just or if i find a bench i'm gonna just sit down on a bench and i feed him so i always have that with me um i always have nail clippers just in case I always have a thermometer just in case you're outside and something happens and you're like okay um does he have temperature so I won't be guessing because I have my thermometer with me um and then this is really essential I have to show you this um so I have this keys um they actually this bug comes with this this thing and I just like hook oh wait I show you and I have this like hook and I just hook my key here so now this is a spare key for the house um, and the main door downstairs now the reason why I have extra keys here is because um, with a baby everything is so unpredictable um, and sometimes for instance I, I live in a flat so when we're going for a walk i have to carry the baby and go downstairs so i have the baby i have my bag um maybe some extra something maybe he was if he's awake maybe he was feeding or whatever so like i have a bottle um i have maybe i mean you just have stuff in your hands so the moment you lock the door sometimes you can just like put away the key and not remember where you put so you I have such a case where maybe I put the keys inside the main bag and I can't find or in my pockets and then I come back and I just can't remember I always have these backup spare keys right here with me and one thing about strolls is when you get out of the house you're so energized and you're like I'm going for a walk and then you go for the walk and when you come back home you're like so tired you just want to get inside throw your shoes away and just and just fall on the sofa and like lie for a second or two for a minute a second really a minute um and in such situations you just and sometimes the baby's crying or he's asleep you don't want to wake him so basically you don't have time to start wandering and looking for your key so if i really don't remember when i'm actually going upstairs i'm always like where did i put the key if i can't figure it out i always have the backup keys this is like really necessary for me i'm not forgetful but i just don't want to wake the baby up or waste my time looking for kids really i don't want to do that uh, um if there is something i forgot let me know um and if you have any video suggestions or something you would like me to do in the future please let me know in the comment section and i hope you enjoyed this video so see you in my next video Doodles and kisses. See you.